they run all the ones that you can't run on those, but so they'll be running like this. Money, what is this here? This right here is the Tempest Slide. It's our newest model. It's a 2016 edition. Okay, okay. Uh, it's something we built for the show this year. Uh, so you guys don't you guys guy. don't sell this though? This is this is just specific for Yeah, this there. isn't for for sale. It's okay. just to sort of show what we can do. Okay. But okay. we can custom build if you want if that's something. Okay, how much? About how much? So now something like this depends on the bike that you're gonna run. But just the setup alone, installation, all that, all the parts, you're looking about 10 grand. You can add it to about any bike you want. Okay. If you want a bike, you okay. know, it's going to be a little bit more suitable. Right? So that's just base prices. Okay, 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 thank you. Our, uh, we're in the Upper South Hall today, which is mostly uh, like off-road stuff. So you, you get like all like the DZ, you know, they got the bumpers and the side steps and the toolboxes. A um, bunch of winches, bunch of uh, basically everything truck stuff up here. So we've got uh, tons of Jeep stuff, all kinds of. This is basically like the whole off-road section. Switching out here, doing all their stuff. Got uh, like a new little Felicia type of deal. He's out here showing off the. transfer case and everything. That's pretty cool. Profilms go pretty interesting set up for the, the Super Duty. It's kind of crazy to see this type of setup on a on an F-250. It's got a really cool. It's got like the converted in basically the uh, no, I thought it was, but those are just basically the traction bars. That's an awesome setup though. It's pretty interesting. This thing used to be a, a Chevy Colorado. Crazy shit on it. Gearbox. It has like, well, they have like yeah. the, the stuff that goes on to pull it. It's only like 50. David, what is this thing? Yeah, it's a good ball, but it's, it's welded. That's not too bad. Love all the 
the, the drift cars I've seen most of this is Juha Ridditon. I, I think that's how you say his name. Turbo looks kind of familiar. That's kind of a weird exhaust housing. Um, giant wastegate though. Holy shit. Uh, ECU master so this has kind of been in the in my head for a couple years now is working with like uh, the ECU master and doing because basically down in Texas a couple of the guys uh, they're running the ECU master with their two JV VTIs uh, they control like the like the electronic throttle body really nice the dual you know the variable valve timing uh, but uh, here was Zach he, uh, he has a Mark III Supra with a 2J in it, and uh, he's been around in drifting in Texas for pretty much ever. Uh, helps everybody out with, uh, with troubleshooting over here in the United States. Uh, but uh, so you guys just came out with this uh, ECU Master Black. What's the difference between this and this? Yeah, so the, the EMU Black is now the, the big brother to our current EMU. You can see physically it's you know, honestly about the third the size. Uh, this is a CNC aluminum housing. It's waterproof. Um, we switched to a micro USB connector on here, which is also waterproof. Um, but again, we get 15 more pins, which is great uh, compared to the, the EMU. So the gray connector stays the same. So if people want to upgrade to the, the EMU black from the current EMU, uh, it's pretty easy by repinning your connector. Um, but we get a few more things. We get drive-by-wire control on board. We get more injector output, so you can do a V8 and full sequential. Um, you get CAN bus and serial on board before you had to choose whether you wanted CAN or serial. Um, you get more pull-up and pull-down options for uh, analog inputs and filtering and uh, really just a, a whole host of improvements that we've been wanting to do for years. Everything we've learned along the way, we put it in this and, and made a nice tidy little package. Yeah, I, that, I like uh, how small that is. That's right. nice you have the additional pins too. Exactly. So question, uh, a couple of people have seen like the like the dual VVTi, sure. like VTEC, yeah. like 2JZ billet head. Would this be able to control that? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, we, we've got a cam control for up to two variable cams. Okay. And then VTEC is just an on-off output. It's really yeah. straightforward to Pretty do, simple. so we'd have no problem doing that. That's but you know, again, the, the more motors, the more recently, we're not seeing non VVT motors anymore getting yeah. imported. Everything's VVT. Yeah. Um, so this having drive by wire support on board and VVTI support natively uh, makes for a really clean installation yeah. for guys that want to keep that. That's pretty cool. And uh, so you do have some plug and play solutions Absolutely. for these as yeah, well. All of, our, all of our existing plug and play adapters are compatible with the EMU Black. Okay. Yeah, I like how you built this whole right. little so you could really see how. Uh, Exactly. I mean, you put an ECU on a table and nobody nobody knows what it does, mm -hmm. but seeing it in action, seeing everything as it's triggered, watching the injectors and the coils, and seeing it interface with a dash, uh, it's a whole lot more fun. Yeah, exactly. I like the Bluetooth tablet. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And uh, so, who's making these ones as well? Yeah, this is Aimsport. Uh, this is their Pista model, I believe. I, I could get that terribly wrong. Um, but they have a full array of dashes, depending on what options you want. Some of them log, some of them don't. Uh, some of them are full color. Um, you can use race technology. Uh, or race pack, or um, you know Cosworth. I mean, there's a whole yeah. number of dashes that we do have the CAN protocol for, as well as communicating with factory dashboards. If you want to put a 2JZ and an E46, yeah. we can run your factory cluster and keep all that configuration. Okay. Configuration. What about like a 370Z cluster? Uh, we haven't touched that yet. Uh, okay. It's definitely on the radar. Probably when the EMU Pro comes out next year. Yeah. Um, because it has more variable cams and two throttles, mm -hmm. and uh, it requires more inputs and outputs. Okay. And this is kind of the the interface right here. Yeah. That's our software. Uh, you can change the layout to look however you like. Um, you can save the desktops as a template. We've got several tabs that you can rename. So you can you can make it look however you want, whatever you're comfortable with. And then we have several keyboard shortcuts, so if you're tuning in the car, you shouldn't need to use the mouse a whole lot. Yeah. Uh, really speeds up the tuning process. And you guys are also doing like a tuning class as well. I've seen a little bit of that start talking yeah. about it on Facebook. We did our um, first one a few weeks ago, had a great turnout. Um, you know, I was, I was happy to, to, to hear that we had positive feedback from everybody that yeah. attended it. And uh, you know, it's, a, it's a great two-day course. First day is classroom instruction. We cover a lot of theory, a lot of practical application. And then the second day we go to a dyno and get a car started and running and tune it. That's really cool. Yeah, I, I definitely been interested in, in actually like uh, attending one of those. But uh, yeah, what is this? It's just an indicator. So oh, that's, that's uh, the variable valve timing. Exactly. These are thing. actually uh, like Vano solenoids from a BMW. Okay. I uh, just wanted to show that you can control up to two cams with the, uh, the EMU. Okay, that's pretty cool. Right on. Well, thanks for talking to me. No problem. Thank yep. you.
the uh, like Trevor Jameson experience. pictures of blue stuff. Hey, who would have thought, right? Yeah. Dude, that, you have to admit, that thing is super clean. That is like... Do you see the back of it? Insane. That's the best part. That is so pretty. I almost overlooked it, too. I know. You, like, almost couldn't, like, yeah. like as soon as you walked by, though. After you're done, it'll be later. I love the back. That is awesome. Yeah, we were looking at this Trans Am. ITB's up front. Just skip over all the potential. Out I know it's so sad. It's like you find yourself accidentally skipping booths. Yeah. Because like there's so much going on. Like that Mustang. Like we were looking I at this Trans Am, and like it's insane the amount of man hours that like time, one car could have time. in it, and then right next to it is something just completely insane. So you're paying attention to one thing, and then there's like this. Like we haven't even looked yeah. at this, but like imagine how much time is in that and how absolutely amazing that is. It's perfect. And if you seen that sitting in a parking lot, like by itself, you'd shit over it yeah. for like but an hour. There's so much yeah. man, like man hours in all these and vehicles here. Everything. Like, it's really hard to stick out. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I think that's why uh, people, or that, I mean, that, that's exactly why people have to go so crazy out here at SEMA, is uh, just because everything is well, like- like funny, because you end up, you almost turn into like a judgmental jerk by accident. Yeah. Because you're like, oh, I don't like that one as much. But then it's like a $200,000 bill. Yeah. Or it has like, oh, wait a minute. Thousands of hours. I could judge. Yeah. This is the first uh, NSX I've seen. Kind of sucks that there's uh, there's not, I mean, I'm sure there's, there's ones getting around in here, but it's, uh, you know, haven't really seen any NSXs. I think I've only seen one Supra so far. Uh, it's really breaking my heart. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go try and find a cookie somewhere. Yeah, that so thing, dope. you'd probably roll that bitch if you actually took it off road. Tell us about it. That thing's crazy, man. Woo! It actually has drive shafts, too. Look at that, that's, that's dope. Look at this one. This one's better. Oh wow. Sorry, this sun is just kinda being all belligerent in my program. Back over to the pro farm. Really cool. Just like the models, uh, just like them. Just like them. That's right. So there's your picture. And then I took a So if you're open to that, I need to know how to reach you. Even my principal might be. So we're out here. Uh, Continental and BMW are doing like this little like drift thing. really funny how uh, 
how all like the big car companies, like if they want somebody to have fun in their car, they take them for a drift ride. Like, but they like don't like drifting. But it's it, all the commercials, everything is drifting. But they don't end up like sponsoring, it, which is is very funny. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I just talked to uh, BC from Busy Moto Engineering and uh, told him some stuff I was trying to do with my car. He, they're the new manufacturer or the dis distributor for like the Quaif, like the like the sequential gearboxes and stuff that they're just kind of bringing over to the United States now. And uh, he was telling them some stuff I was trying, I was going to do to my car, and he told me we needed to talk. So. Uh, so that might be be interesting. Hopefully, maybe something works out with that. But watching these uh, these cars drift around here makes me really wish I had my my S14 here. We got these uh, used BMWs for sale. They only got a thousand miles on them. They were just used for for one demo. Just a little bit. Just a, just one little demo ride. So uh, you know, save some coin today and buy yourself a used uh, demo BMW. Dope cares. Yeah. Look at that van. Oh, wow, I need some all the all the inspirations out here at the the SEMA. It's real. Oh my goodness. That's dope. It has like a cage in it too. John right now. Where are we going, Ronnie? Oh, we're gonna go meet up with Trevor's buddy Adam. Well, he's, he's not. He's David. not. He's not my buddy yet. Um, never met him before, but you guys know the. Probably seen the, the videos Adam LZ. So we're gonna say. Uh, we're gonna go say hi. We we're on the other end of the thing, and I guess he's. Uh, you know, as you guys probably don't. You know, don't know. He's kind of hard to get a hold of. But uh, yeah, he's over there with David right now. Um, so they're way across the way. So we're going over there to meet up with him. Uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit of shit to him because he never, uh, never, well, he didn't buy my 1JZ car and he probably should have. So, uh, but yeah, that's, uh, I'm gonna go tell him about that. But yeah, this is uh, a little Ford Maverick. They have the, the 2 3 EcoBoost in it, which is a really cool swap. I wasn't really able to see this thing yesterday. They did like a little unveiling, and then there's just so many damn people around it. Filming all these cars we've been watching for the past four days. They're all driving by. This is the roller. they do to get the cars out of here is they tape all this shit down, they yank all the rugs out. You just can't really see, but there's kind of like a smog in there of just like, you know, old car, old, old car starting up, smoking, valve steam seals, all that. Yeah, it's definitely interesting. Like as soon as, as soon as everybody gets out of here, they just like start yanking everything down. This, this is uh, an awesome, like if I was going to have like an FD car, like just like jump in one and go. I I like this thing a lot. I, I really like I like the paint scheme because it's similar. It's got some purple on it. Pretty dope. So we're here with uh, with Adam LZ. Hey. And uh, I asked him myself. I was like, why didn't you buy my one JZ car? Which I understand. But. Yeah, we just uh, it would have been really really cool, but I wouldn't have had any videos fixing it because it's already running. So. Which, which I, I completely understand that because like. Sometimes when you run, you make as many videos as you do. Cause you make like how many a week now? As many as like at least like three or four. And uh, you need to make as much stuff as, uh, as you can. Like you need to have as much automotive content. So that's why I bought it. And he made, he even helped me back after like. It's two hundred story of the car. Yeah, exactly. And uh, you, you might end up doing it to yours. Can we leak some information? I'm trying to convince him to go like either one or two J in his car, which you can't get rid of your car because that's like to you now. That'd be like me getting rid of mine. But uh, it's just whether it's gonna stay a street car or I'm gonna cage it. So you need 
a, a truck and a trailer and then cage it and then go to the stuff. And then come out to Colorado, drive with me, on, or meet up in Texas. You know what I mean? down. But, uh, yeah, so don't get too mad. So, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call out Adam for doing this. But, uh, yeah, that's cool. David, uh, with the crane up there, holy shit, he's already like six foot one, at least. He's at least six foot one. How you guys doing? Whoop, whoop.
guys, so that is uh, pretty much where I'm going to leave this this uh, whole, you know, SEMA 2016 video. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it and, uh, you know, talked to some decent companies out here, so hopefully we'll be working with them on uh, some certain things. Uh, saying goodbye to that, uh, that awesome, uh, that white Supra with the Redox kit on it. Um, I yeah, appreciate you guys watching, sticking around with me. Uh, I uh, might be working with some companies here soon. Uh, I just want to let you guys know that you know, if, if I do work with a company, I want like I want you to know that I, I truly believe in that company. I'm not just going to you know start working with a company and, and advertising for them or doing you know putting their stuff on my car if I truly don't believe in them. Um, so I just wanted to kind of let you guys know that. Uh, so if you if you do see me working with somebody, just just to know that it, it's actually kind of that I want to work with that company, and that I probably approach them or they approach me, but I, I you know I believe in what they do, they believe in what I do. So uh, yeah, that's uh, you know that's kind of the name of the game. That's that's what I've always uh, kind of wanted the channel to be is to to be working with people. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for uh, for watching. This is kind of the end of the Seeming Night. We went and we ate and kind of let this thing play out and just kind of walking around checking out some of the the stuff there's pretty much the only two supers i've seen so that that white one right there and the one that's uh that's loading up in the the deal right now but uh but yeah so we got a early flight tomorrow morning uh flying out of here but uh but yeah thanks again for watching and uh you know be sure to check out all the other videos and uh look forward to some super progress here soon